day. Well, folks, we're back up at the farm here, and uh, man, it's been cold and rainy. It's probably a decent day, but it's supposed to snow tomorrow. It's about uh, 30 degrees. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's very cold out here. Luckily, in the barn here, I got some windbreak. But uh, yeah, chopping some firewood and trying to clean up and get the trailer up to this part here. It's the next goal. All right, folks, I got another uh, mystery MRE here. So uh, let's get in this package here and see what we're dealing with because it's uh, lunchtime. I got no uh, power out here. So hope the heater works for the entree, whatever it is. So Mrs. Chef brought her cold pizza, but uh, I'm having an MRE. Let's see what we got here. So it looks like we got Menu 20, hash brown potato with bacon, peppers, and onions. I have never tried this one, so uh, let's see what's in here. Yeah, I should have brought a burner, Mrs. Chef, but we didn't. All right, let's see what all we got here. How's your cold pizza, Mrs.? Okay, so we got some crackers. I like these better when they put the salt on. I don't think they put salt on these anymore. We got uh, some granola. We got uh, peanuts, dry roasted, salted. Oh, we got some government cheese spread. Mm, 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 that's good stuff. Here we got a cranberry flavored first strike nutritious energy bar. Okay. We got our entree here of uh hash brown potato bacon. We got our implement pack, so we'll see what comes in there. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this uh kind of break that up a little here and get this heater going and get the main cooking because I'm getting very hungry. Here's your flameless uh, ration heater. Yeah, a flameless ration heater, Mr. Chef. So let's put a little water in the bottom and you're good to go. It might get soggy in this thing. Do not overfill. So we're going to put just a little bit of water in here. Actually, let's go ahead and put our main in there and then put the water in. It's getting pretty late in the day. What time is it, Mr. Chef? 2 30? Yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry. So it's getting pretty late. It's cloudy, so it's kind of hard to tell what time of day it is. Okay, let's add a little water in here. Okay, get that up to the line here. Get a good shape to get it all activated good. I'll pour the water out of it. And then you get this nice little uh, cardboard here to keep it, to hold it while it's heating up. And we'll set this uh, somewhere here, maybe off camera. Let that thing do its thing. Let's see what else we got. So I think we'll have the granola while we're waiting here for that to heat up. Uh, what we're going to do, it says, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before. So we got purified water. We got Ozarka water. It says open pouch and remove oxygen uh, scavenger. So let's, we don't want to eat that. Let's do that. Stay around there till you find that. There we go. Let's get that out of there. This is add two to three ounces of water, so let's do that. Rehydrate it. Let's 
So I'm gonna shake that up. Break it up a little in there. Let that sit for a minute. Rehydrate. I would be like Steve 1989 and get this out into a tray, but I don't have a tray. So uh, I think next thing I'm gonna eat here is I'm gonna try this here first strike nutritious energy bar. I need to get something in me. Oh wow, this is uh, not what I was expecting. It's actually like a uh, like a hard taffy almost. What is that? I've never had this before. I don't know. It's pretty good. Not what I was expecting. You want to try some, Mr. Chef? Sure. What is it? It's actually pretty good. Very tough to bite through, but once you get warm in your mouth, it's pretty easy to eat. What is it? It's an energy bar, Mr. Chef. Cranberry, raspberry flavor. It's actually pretty tasty. Well, that's really tasty. That's um that's the ingredients. You're gonna stop and read that. But very tasty. I'm impressed. That's made by Sterling Foods. Out of San Antonio, Texas. All right, so Energy Bar was really tasty. Let's get a uh, let's get our granola here with milk and blueberries, dehydrated. It should be dehy that should be hydrated again. And I love that they give you the nice government spoon. That's a very nice plastic spoon from China, most likely. All right, let's see here. See if you can see in there. I'm gonna give this a try. All right, let's see what we got here. Kinda looks like Smurf shit. Hmm. Pretty tasty. Tastes coconut. Mm-hmm. First thing I taste is coconuts. Granola, oats, brown sugar, coconut, wheat germ, sesame seed. Mm-hmm. Definitely tastes coconut. It's really tasty though. All right, let's get in here this accessory pack. I need uh need something to drink. That that uh blueberry oats was pretty tasty, but it does make you kind of thirsty. So let's see here we got uh beverage base orange top three. I'm just gonna put that in the rest of our bottle of water here. Give her a shake. Like so. I do believe I had this one before. It's pretty tasty. Like it tastes like tang. If you remember what tang used to taste like. Yep, tastes like tang. Not super sweet, but super tangy. Okay, we got a uh, Bill's Brew freeze dried coffee. Now, I don't have a way to heat uh, water at the moment, so we're gonna save this for another time. Although coffee sounds very good. Here we have, uh, what we got here? This is the Crema Non-Dairy Dry for coffee or tea. Package of sugar. Big package of salt. That's a lot of salt in one package. Got some ass wipe for later on. Got some matches, which I could use earlier. I was trying to get a fire going. Here's a, a moist towelette. And there's some medicine to make it all go down so you can use that ass wipe.
And it's bone chilling cold today, folks. It's like 30 degrees, so uh, everything in here is kind of solid as a rock. Our main should be getting pretty close, so let's go ahead and have some cheese crackers here. I heard that hiss when it opened. I do wish they salted these crackers. But you know what? They did add some salt, so we're going to act like these are salty crackers. It ain't going to stick to it, but this was shits and giggles. Now we got salted crackers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this opened up here. This stuff is like a rock. It's, like I said, it's so cold. It ain't going to squeeze out of there, but we'll see what we can do. So what I done did there to get that cheese where it's kind of pliable, I stuck it in my ass crack. Kind of like uh, that movie Road Trip, where they do the French toast that way. Now it should be warmed up here pretty soon. Actually, I put it in my pocket, so that'll help warm it up where it's pliable. There's a salted roasted peanut. Hmm. Tastes like I'm on a Southwest Airlines flight. Okay, so now that this cheese here has been caved for the last 10 minutes, we can actually call this cheese Fumunda cheese. Because that's exactly what it is. I got that all opened up there. Get this out onto a cracker here. Got half of it for this cracker. And I don't know, maybe one half. I forgot I put all that damn salt on there. I'm trying to be stupid. Let's get that off there. There we go. That's a little bit pliable now. Still pretty cold. I'm just going to fold that over there. And have a cheese sandwich. Like so. Mm. I mean, there's no business like whole business. I mean, show business. Mm -mm -mm. But she's actually ain't too bad. It's pretty good. And the actual little bit of salt, actually, some of the salt, I poured it off, but you can see little holes from the salt stuck. It needs to be a salted cracker. Mm hmm. I broke the other cracker in half, then I made another sandwich. Um, actually, I'm pretty full, so you could actually stretch this meal out for a whole day if you needed to. And I haven't got to the main yet. All right, so here's what's left. We got the main entree here. Let's pull that out of the sleeve. Pull it out of this flameless ration. You didn't hope it got hot. Okay, feels a little warm, but not super hot. So uh, this will at least have a, a warm meal regardless, not hot. But like I said, it's very cold today, so I didn't figure it get super hot out here. I'm ready to eat this and go set my truck and heat my hands up, I guarantee. This is taking about 30 minutes to film here, a little longer. Go ahead and just cut this right here. Go ahead and put this on the plate so we can see what it looks like because I've never had this before. I don't believe. Maybe I have. I don't remember if I had this one or not. It actually smells good. It looks like corned beef hash. This seems familiar. Maybe I have had this one before. I don't remember. Maybe I have. I know I haven't had those components. But for some reason, this seems, this part seems familiar. Maybe I did have this one. I get these for situations like this when I be out in the woods camping or whatever. The American uh, government issues uh, MREs are pretty damn tasty. For some reason, I think I've had this before. 
looks familiar now. I've seen it. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty tasty. I'm glad I left some of those crackers and these little crunch because it's all potato. It's like potato and bell pepper, bacon. Wow, I'm freezing. Mmm. Pretty good. I'm gonna hurry meet this so I can get in the shelter because I'm frozen. Well, folks, I want to thank you for joining me today. That meal was actually pretty tasty. Uh, whatever menu that was. I, I ordered these from a mystery. It's a mystery pick. And you don't know what you're getting, so it's kind of interesting that way. I think I've had that hash brown or something similar to it before in one of the MREs maybe a few years ago. Uh, definitely had the cheese and the cracker before. Uh, never had the bar, and uh, that was pretty tasty. And I think I had the granola before or some similar to it. Anyway, if you're out camping or whatever and you need something uh, to pack with you that's light and easy to put in your backpack or whatever, those are great. And you can stretch that out, like I said, all day because I was pretty stuck by the time I finished that. And I didn't eat all the peanuts. So. Anyway, thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold, Mrs. Chef. I'm freezing. Freezing, too. Ooh. I feel like the movie Frozen. Frozen. We've been out here for a couple days now. And, uh, there is snow coming tomorrow, so I think we're getting a boogie out of here. But uh, hoping I don't get sick from being in the cold so much. I got a stuffy nose from all this. I wear a headgear.